Always alerting. Always tracking. This is Next Weather. Next Weather Meteorologist Lisa Gonzalez joins us now. Hopefully you're tracking some rain that's much needed. <laughs> yes, we do have some wet weather out there. And you know what? It is helping to bring some relief from the extreme heat that we've had the last few days. We've had heat advisories. And you know, at least for today, no heat advisory. Although, as we take a look, certainly going to need to dodge some showers out there. And keep the umbrella close. Davy Weston right now, as well as near Hard Rock Stadium, Aventura, dealing with some showers as well as around Miami Beach. And as we take a look, well, folks are out there here along the coast. This is Sunny Isles Beach, though, where the rain hasn't hit yet, but it is cloudy. And at least that helps in terms of the heat. But, you know, the uh, Saharan dust is going to be thinning out. And we are going to remain cloudy today with on and off again showers. But then back to more of the afternoon storms pushing inland for the weekend. But, yeah, a lot of folks out there soaking up not the sunshine, but you know, at least the fact that they can enjoy that cooler water and beat the heat that way. Miami 89, it does feel like 94. Fort Lauderdale 85 feels like 91. 88 in QS feels like 101 degrees. At this time, QS has been steamy all day. As we take a look at our current temperatures, we're in the mid to upper 80s. And right now, it feels like temperatures ranging from 94 in Miami to 95 in Palmer Pines, 97 in Kendall. So we're not seeing those heat indices in the triple digits like we have the last few days at this time, but that is not the case though for the keys where you are feeling like the hundreds. So still want to stay hydrated, of course, and be safe out there. Cloudy with some showers and storms today, and then we are going to see mostly afternoon showers and storms tomorrow for the weekend. High pressure builds in Saharan dust for the most part does move out, and then that means we'll get into a pattern with morning showers and some inland storms in the afternoon daily round of afternoon showers and storm typical pattern for next week and our rain tracker showing. Yeah, you're going to hold on to the rain gear throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Few of the storms, by the way, could turn strong and even overnight tonight. We could see <clears throat> some of the rain and tomorrow morning when you wake up. You can tune in as I'll be tracking all the action and still some of those scattered storms around Saturday. Notice dry in the morning and then storms push inland in the tropics for the most part quiet, except for this one disturbance off the southeast coast of the U.S. that does have a 10% chance, a low potential of development, but the rest of the tropics looking quiet. So today we do have a 50% chance of rain. And then as we get into the weekend, our highs will be in the low 90s, close to normal, but we will see the chance for some of those scattered storms every day with that east wind and that pattern persists next week.